Howdy guys and welcome back. Today we have the lovely review of Yaksha. This was requested by Eduardo I believe. Uh, don't quote me if I am incorrect but I do believe that he requested this video so we're gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, I definitely love Yaksha's design really quick. She's definitely super duper adorable I would say that and then her her final form is like bruh get up off me I'm gonna tear you up. Uh, those boots are pretty darn cool as well and yeah she's pretty darn cool but let's go ahead and take a look at fire yaksha she is a defender type uh she's coming in with 30k hp 2.3k attack and then 3k defense as a nat 4 it's solid it i mean it's not like op op but it is pretty solid and she's a defender so her main thing is defense which she does have and i will say she looks darn man she looks cool then pants are on point um she comes with attack down and then blind. Uh, I can't remember if Yaksha has skill books or not. Please let me know if she does because I didn't check before this video. But um, attack down, 8% chance for two turns. Pretty solid. Sounds pretty reliable. And then um, blind, 50% chance for three turns. If she has skill books and that can boost it up to 70, that could potentially be very, very useful. But as it is now, it is kind of hit or miss. And it looks like it's an AoE as well. But overall, definitely not bad. This is without a doubt a Titans Mon. At the very, very, very minimum, a Titans Mon. Um, blind is pretty much only useful there. But attack down for 80% chance for two turns is pretty solid as well. Let's go over here and check out the water one. Which I ran I just completed. Like I kid you not, I just completed her like yesterday. That variant is clean, man. I, I love them pants, man. And I, I them heels whatever boots they are aesthetic but the water one is coming the water one is an attacker type coming in with 29k hp which is basically 30k uh 3.1k attack and then 2.1k defense uh that defense unfortunately is sick nasty low which is just gag me with a machete but her attack and hp is a her hp especially is, is a little bit higher than normal which is nice and her attack is decent but she comes with double stalker so both of her moves already have essentially 40% crit rate on them because I think the base is 10. So uh, essentially you can build her with very, very minimum crit rate. Obviously go for max because her skills uh, her skills are essentially telling you, hey man, build me with crit. So there's no excuse as to why she couldn't be on a ruin set. But that's definitely not bad at all. She definitely seems like she's going to be a good damage dealer. Which is why I made her, and I want to test her out. Alright, let us go to the next one. Did I pass her? Nope, I didn't pass her. That variant is clean, man. That variant is clean. So, the grass one, or the wood one, is an attacker type again. Coming in with essentially the same stats as the water one. 29k HP, which is basically 30k at that point. 3.1k attack and 2.1k defense and let's take a look at her skills she has sleep and then hunter sleep did get a rework so it is useful a little bit more useful than it was before but is it as useful as i would want it to be no but hunter again is very very nice if only she was single target then woody Yaksha might be a little bit more viable than what she is now but overall, I mean, you could definitely use her maybe clan versus clan. Um, you could possibly get in, get away with using her in B7. But in order for you to pull 16 Yakshas in order to get her to Evo 3 at that point in time, there's probably a lot of other mods that you would have at even at minimum Evo 2, like Wood, Wood Shiva, that would definitely just help you clear it a lot faster and more reliably. So while she's not a bad mon, Especially if you don't have any other wood attackers. I could see how she could potentially get replaced. But remember, if you are going to build her, she will need a square slot. She will need a square slot. Let's go over here to Light Yaksha next. Did I pass her? Nope, I didn't pass her. Alright, so we have Light Yaksha. She's coming in with 26k HP. 3.2k attack and 2k defense um solid her stats are somehow slightly weaker than the uh non-light and dark type for yaksha 
I mean, her HP is, her attack goes up by 100, but it's only 100. And defense stays pretty much the same. So stat-wise, she is pretty average. Not Nothing crazy as a light type, though. And she comes with defense down and predator. That defense down has a 70% 70, 70 chance for three turns. Um, overall, pretty solid. Pre pretty solid. So if she gets that off, you can assure yourself for at least a minimum of two more turns after it goes down that... Um, the enemy that you're fighting will have all kinds of defense down put on them, which scales nicely and goes very, very well with her predator. It's only 30% chance, man. I mean, 30% damage increase, man. How come you guys can give her 40? Give Yaksha 40%. But, I mean, if you pull her, definitely, definitely usable. Um, I wouldn't really say B10 because if you put defense down and you have it on auto like me, they're going to all target that defense down. Mon, which was Sawyer runs down, but this could definitely be useful in a clan versus clan situation. Um, somewhere in PvP, maybe not top of PvP, but at least a decent decent portion of PvP. Um, for Titans, uh, I don't think I. I mean, Dark Titan. Mm, yeah, this could use, this could work for Titans. This could definitely work for Titans. Seventy percent chance down. 70% chance even if she dies as long as she gets it off and predator she should be dish dishing out some wonderful damage but if you guys have a like like yaksha because i unfortunately don't please leave a comment below where you use her at so users that do get her can actually put her to good use and let's check out the dark one and last we have the lovely dark yaksha who both forms look supreme um, the dark one is a balanced type coming in with 30k HP, 2.6k attack, and 2.5k defense. Um, stat wise, she's pretty average as a nat 4. Nothing extraordinaire, but nothing too horrible. So she seems solid, at least in the stat department. She comes with adrenaline and silence. Um, I want to say I do see her sometimes in clan versus clan, but mostly in PvP defense because she can heal the whole squad with her 3 star skill and then. Silence, even though it's not like super duper useful, 80% chance for two turns. If it hits the whole squad, it could definitely be annoying to have. I mean, so it seems like Yaksha isn't OP OP, but she isn't like she isn't Amon that I would tell you guys not to build if you have any of these. She definitely seems like a pretty just a pretty good Mon, which is nice to have. We don't need something that's just disgustingly broken and disgustingly sick all the time or something that is just disgustingly weak and we can't use it but that's pretty much it for the yaksha review if you guys do have a dark yaksha and you use her somewhere please let us know below um with her typing and her abilities as well i'd probably recommend that you guys put some resist on this girl put some resist if you can get crit rate in there too that's lovely but that's pretty much it for the yaksha review again shout out to eduardo this is for you my boys actually this is for you my boy and for my boys watching this is also for you guys. Keep keep them coming if you guys have any requests. I am working on more videos. They will be out pretty soon. And always, guys, stay classy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.